Good morning, February 25. Today is the day. God says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. The word procrastinate comes from a Latin compound word, pro, which means forward, and crastinus, which means of tomorrow. So procrastinating is moving or pushing something from today to tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, ad infinitum. Most things in life that need to be done, paying the bills, painting the house, changing the oil in the car, allow for a few tomorrows before they absolutely have to be done. Why? Because if you die before you get the house painted, it might be an inconvenience for someone else, but not the end of the world. There are, however, other things in life that don't allow for such putting off because they have eternal ramifications. Most important is one's decision regarding Christ. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 says, We die, and then comes the judgment. There are no tomorrows or do-overs when it comes to salvation. You can survive if you procrastinate about some things, but a decision about surrendering your life to Christ is not one of them. Pride is the devil's dragnet, in which he takes more fish than in any other except procrastination. Charles H. Spurgeon Good evening, God's great omnipotence. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. Regardless of how hard we try to remain true to our promises, at one time or another, we all fall short and are unable to keep them. However, this is not the case with God. At the end of his reign, David glorifies the Lord with the words, As for God, his way is blameless. The word of the Lord is flawless. David describes God as a rock, a shield, and a fortress. And God guides his people onto higher heights like fleet-footed deer. These images all imply that even though dangers and problems still surround God's children, he provides security in the midst of all these perils. Whether you walk in the sun or the shade today, reflect on the trustworthiness of our God and praise and glorify him for being faithful to his promises.